Hi, my YouTube family and friends. It's me, Antoinette, and I'm coming to you with another video. This video is an update on my Thai plant. And um, the last time I did this video, I think it was in, it was in the summer. And um, at that time, I had three Thai plants. Um, one was mine, and the other two belonged to my two daughters. And I was trying to, um, well, they had brought them to my plant hospital. And uh, unfortunately, if you, well, if you looked at the video, unfortunately, the one in the black pot um, kicked the bucket. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just, one day it was there, the next day it was just wilting away. And then the one that was in the purple pot um, I repotted it, uh, put it in a pot with some drainage, and it was doing good when I gave it back to her. Um, she has it in a sort of kind of a dark room, so I'm going to get it again this summer, bring it back on the porch, and hopefully I can get it to grow some more. But this is mine that I kept um, near, as you can see, it's near the window. I kept it near the window hoping that it would get some light, sunlight, enough sunlight to keep it alive at least. Um, as you can see, these leaves are just rat tattered. I don't not really sure. All I can say is probably I uh didn't water it enough. But my new leaves are looking wonderful. I even have a new leaf coming you see and isn't that foliage just absolutely beautiful look at the colors it's just man this is a beautiful plant I was watching a TV show yesterday and I saw two of them behind the person who was talking and I knew immediately what kind of plant it was and um, that made me come and look at mine and see how much work mine needed but um i'm gonna work on it this summer when it gets I, I probably won't be able to take it outside for another four weeks or so so i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing for the next four weeks i didn't fertilize it during the winter i just um, watered it about every four weeks um, I sh probably should have watered it some more, but I didn't want to overwater it and kill it. Um, so right now I know it needs some water. Hasn't been four weeks. It's dry though. You see, it's dry. This is a queen of the night cactus that I have growing in here also. But um, I want to, I want to cut it. I don't like when it gets stocky like this. I don't like when my plants get stocky. I like when all the leaves are. But um, I might cut it this summer and experiment. I might. Anyway, um, I love the way it's looking. I really do love the variegation on these plants. This colors, they're just beautiful and they, this, it like brings sunshine in your home especially in the winter when it's so cold well at least it's cold here um sometimes dreary especially when we have a snowy day or a cloudy day these plants you know you look at them they're summer colors it's a tropical plant and um yeah so um thank you for viewing my video you have any questions oh Okay, so let me run this. Let me run this again. So I'll be fertilizing it in a couple of weeks. I'll probably increase the water once I put it on the porch. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything extra. I don't really do anything extra to my plants. You know, I don't shine the leaves and all of that stuff. Although I do spray neem on them when necessary. I haven't had any problems with um, um, spider mites or anything with this plant this winter. I'm really happy about that because my house is dry. It's and um, I don't spray. I don't spray the plant with like water or anything. Maybe I should do that. I'll do that next winter. 
yeah so um thank you all for viewing my video i really appreciate you stopping by um remember to hit that like button and the subscribe um give someone a virtual hug a virtual kiss love on somebody and appreciate the small things god bless you all have a good day bye bye